North Coast. We started our new day on this beautiful island by heading to its northern part, ready for new adventures. Madeira is full of crazily beautiful viewpoints, and our first stop was one of them, Miraduro Ueu da Noiva. One of the cool things about this spot is that from here you can see a waterfall falling straight into the ocean, and also the rough cliffs of the northern coast, which are very impressive. Close to the viewpoint there is another famous spot of Madeira. Very curious rocky formations coming out straight from the ocean. From here you can walk down to the stony beach and explore the coast. I was very happy we came here because I have never seen the rocks of this shape just next to the beach. The place is really photogenic and I highly recommend it. I take it from the streets and bring it to the beach chain. And it don't gotta end, just put it on repeat No, you don't trust what you can see we continued our ride along the coastline and soon arrived at another recommended viewpoint called Ribeira da Janela. There is a swing just in the middle of this viewpoint offering amazing views of the ocean and generally this place is very picturesque. It seems like locals thought that this place is not good enough itself and added some pieces of decor. We spent here around 15 minutes and it was time to head to our next destination. The most mysterious forest on Madeira. We first saw the pictures of this place on the internet when preparing for our trip and it looked just surreal. A forest of 500 year old trees fully covered in mysterious fog. When we arrived at the place the sky was clear and it was very sunny so we even got a bit disappointed at first. Literally in three minutes, the clouds appeared out of nowhere. We are lucky because we get to enjoy a famous sunnel forest at the same time in the sunny weather. And also you see that if we walk towards the left, we will get inside the clouds. Five more minutes and the whole forest was completely swallowed by the clouds and the mist and the visibility decreased drastically. The whole place was suddenly transformed so much that it was hard to recognize it and it became to look exactly as we had seen it on the pictures before. I can't recommend this place enough. It really has some unique and mysterious atmosphere and it feels like you're walking in some fairy tale like forest when you're here. By the afternoon we arrived to the municipality of Porto Moniz, where we had our lunch. This place is famous for its natural swimming pools created in lava formations by the ocean. The entrance fee is only 3 euros and for this money you get to swim in the coolest natural volcanic pools just next to the ocean. This place is definitely a must if you're visiting the northern coast of Madeira and you can easily spend a few hours in the area. After refreshing in the pools, we continued our itinerary and arrived at the viewpoint of Achadas da Cruz. This viewpoint is famous for its cable car, which is considered to be one of the steepest cable cars in Europe. So in case you're here, make sure to take a ride down to the abandoned village. You won't regret it. We came here in the evening and this place looked just so beautiful in the evening sun. The last spot for today is called Ponta de Pargo and we came here to see the sunset. We left our scooter and Philip found a place. <laughs> Perfect spot to rest. <laughs> <Well done. laughs> and he has a partner here. Hello Kiki. <laughs> Ponta de Pargo is considered to be one of the best spots to see the sunset on Madeira and no wonder why. 
Here you will find a cute little lighthouse and plenty of space to see the sunset. Although we knew that waiting for the sunset would mean riding back after dark for almost an hour, we still decided to stay because the sunsets on Madeira are just magical. So today is our last day on Madeira. I feel sad about it because this place is magical and I would really like to stay for longer and see more places because I feel like there's so many places here to see you could literally, I don't know how much time you need to see it all probably, uh, I don't know, a month and um, today we decided to leave the most iconic hike on Madeira for the last day this hike is from the third highest peak uh, which is called Pico de Arriero to the highest peak of Madeira, which is called Pico de Ruivo, and they call this hike Pico to Pico. And there are just some mesmerizing views uh, on the way, quite scary parts of the roads as well, but I'm very excited to go. Originally we were planning to go there to see sunrise, uh, but we have our scooter and to see, in order to see sunrise we had to drive in the dark. And we were so exhausted yesterday because every day is just so packed with different activities. We come back late and then we don't have energy. So today we set the alarm, but it was so hard to get up. And we then thought about driving in the dark and we we're like, okay, let's just go and do this hike a bit later. Because we already saw uh, this magical, famous view from the Pico de Arriero when it's above the clouds, we saw it at sunset. So. I'm not that sad about this part. And after this hike, we're gonna finally explore some Funchal because we were always taking scooter and exploring the parts outside the city. But today we have the whole day, well, actually not the, ho the whole day, but half of the day for Funchal. And we will uh, see a couple of sites within the city and then uh, we just want to wander around and chill a little bit because we are quite tired. We left Funchal in t-shirts, we went up a very steep road and we had to change because that's what you do on Madeira, <laughs> otherwise you freeze. Let's also show the view over Funchal. The whole Pico to Pico hike is around 11 kilometers both ways and takes around 3 to 4 hours depending on your speed. But the most scenic section of the hike is during the first 30 minutes after the start. Shoot on sides how it looks. Wait a second and go. Okay, can move. This is crazy. We are just in the middle. No, we are just walking. 
along the very edge of the mountain. Yep. Don't run. Me and Philip only chose to do half of the hike because we had to get back to our scooter, which we left at Pico de Arieiro. You can also start this hike from the other side at Pico de Ruivo, which is the highest peak of Madeira. But in this case, you will have to do the whole hike to Pico de Arieiro if you want to see the most beautiful section of the road with the best views. Bear in mind that you will have to arrange your transportation ahead. You could either rent a private vehicle or a taxi or go with a tour, which needs to be booked at least a couple of days ahead, so keep that in mind. In case of a taxi, you also need to call the driver beforehand. Okay, we're on our way back and we have to climb up all the way to... Let me show you... To that spot. So we go like this and reach the starting point. Are you ready? to climb millions of stairs, <laughs> favorite part of the hike. the hike which turned out to be the most beautiful hike of my life we headed back to Funchal to explore the city for the rest of the day the weather here was completely different from that at the peak it was raining and the visibility was very poor there's supposed to be Funchal over there but this cable car seems to be going into nowhere but it didn't stop us and we headed to our first destination, the famous Monte Palace Gardens, located at the top of Funchal. Despite the weather, the garden looked very beautiful. The lush vegetation and the beautiful architecture won't leave you disappointed. Besides the palace itself, you can also find a Japanese garden and an African pavilion inside the area. Fine, Philip. <laughs> to sum up, this place is definitely worth visiting, but we'd recommend to come here on a sunny day to fully appreciate the beauty of this place. I'd also highly recommend to get lunch at the restaurant just next to the garden, because the food here was just delicious. Next, we headed to the center of Funchal and visited its famous local market. The place offers a great variety of local produce, including amazing local fruit, and other local specialties. When here, we recommend visiting a chocolate store famous for its chocolate with the fillings of local fruit flavors and their passion fruit ice cream, which was really yummy. It's our last evening in Madeira. Tomorrow in the morning we have a flight back to uh, mainland Portugal. So we'll still have some time in Porto before going back to Poland. And to sum up, this was uh, one of the most amazing trips we had. I wanted to say the most amazing one, but it's hard because every trip is special in its way. And to tell the truth, I, I, mean, I watched a lot of videos about Madeira before coming here, but this place is just insane. It's a magical island and it's much 
uh, more special uh, in real life than in videos even like I don't know it exceeded my expectations and there's something special about this place I thought that it would be hard to uh, impress me after Seychelles and it would be hard to beat right but I don't know now I actually I'm not sure I, I can't compare these two places because they're completely different but Madeira is a truly magical island I think I've never seen so many beautiful just crazy beautiful mountainous roads and probably here we saw the most beautiful sunset of our life at Pico de Arriero uh, the third highest peak in Madeira it was just insane I will never forget that view and uh, I don't know we rode through the whole island I think that we took like most of the roads uh, on our scooter and uh, we explored everything we could possibly explore in five days I think we did more than <laughs> you know uh, we expected Many ups and downs yeah lots of steep roads but oh my god those roads and yeah um, long story short I feel like we'll be back to this place because we just fell in love and it it's really a magical island and it has so much to offer so Madeira see you next time Funchal is a beautiful city to explore on foot. We started our walk from the promenade that goes along the coast, passing a small port on the way and finally reached the old town, which is packed with restaurants, exotic trees and amazing graffitis. It was our last evening on this beautiful island and we promised ourselves to come back, because Madeira is a truly magical place.